And we are here today to award David Connorth, the Lionfish King, um, with his awards for winning the Lionfish Challenge uh, recreational category. So first you get a Perdix dive computer. Awesome. Ha -ha. Thank you. And then also you will be getting this awesome wood burning um, Lionfish trophy um, made by Adam Marr. When did you first um, get into scuba diving? 26 years ago. So I was uh, 15 and got certified because my dad was a diver and got into scuba diving back then. When did you get into uh, harvesting lionfish? Uh, when I moved down to Florida about four and a half years ago and uh, I saw that and read about that it was a problem actually through some of your guys' uh, articles and things like that and just thought it uh, needed to be addressed so I started to get into it then. So uh, I have a biology degree and I've always been interested in science and things like that. And when I moved down here, like I was mentioning uh, years ago, I started reading about it. And uh, it's a real problem for the Florida fishery. Um, lionfish don't have any natu natural predator in the area. So they are consuming untold amounts of snapper, grouper, lobster all the babies and they uh, breed 30,000 every four days. So the, the reproduction is insane and there's nothing uh, put them in check. Also on top of it, an added bonus is they're great to eat. I mean, phenomenal white meat, very sweet, ceviche, any way you want to make it. So twofold there. Um, as you can see, the boat behind us is uh, with Scuba Works, which was David's checkpoint for the 2020 Lionfish Challenge. How often do you go out diving with Scuba Works? I'm on the boat weekly, for sure. Um, great operation, uh, very quick and easy access to the inlet, and uh, phenomenal diving down here in South Florida. Uh, very clear waters, you know, as opposed to some of the other parts of the state. So we have, you know, 60 to 80 to 100 foot visibility. And the great thing about it is that, uh, you know, we're typically uh, very warm waters. Uh, comparatively to the other parts of uh, the Atlantic and the eastern side of Florida. Can you give us um, some tips on how to harvest lionfish, um, maybe what makes it easier, how you do it, how you go about it while you're underwater and all this crazy scuba gear? Yeah, so it is a lot going on, um, especially with having the uh, lionfish container uh, and things like that. But definitely um, the one that you guys gave out as, a, out as an award this year, the uh, lion, uh, the zookeeper actually, is, is great for it. it. makes it much, much easier than some of these other things that are out there. But I don't clip the spines. Some people clip the spines. Uh, it just takes uh, a little bit more time in the water to clip them. So, but with the zookeeper, you can, you know, you spear them, you push them in there, and it's pretty relatively easy once you get the first couple down. But as far as spearing them, um, I usually try to aim at the head, try to, because um, you can get very close, literally from me to you, as I'm probably, you're aware. Um, but at that point, you really got to make sure that the spear stays in them uh, because they do, once you do hit them, then they do try to get away. Before that, not so much. Once you spear them, once you make contact, keep, maintain that pressure, like push them against the, uh, the sand, and then uh, move them over as quick as possible into the uh, zookeeper. Yeah. Thank you.